And here's an actual photo of the beautiful Comet Halley. Maybe some of you saw it when it last came near Earth in 1986. If you missed it, don't worry, the comet will return in the year 2061. So most of us will see Comet Halley at least once in a lifetime. That's one reason it's so famous. But every year we can see debris left behind in the comet's orbit, not just one time, but during two annual meteor showers. This illustration is from the great astronomy chart maker, Guy Ottowell. The white ball in the center is the sun, and the ellipse is Earth's orbit. The Orionids happen when we encounter the inbound path of Comet Halley around the sun. I've marked that intersection point with a red arrow. Earth crosses the comet's outbound path in early May, and that gives us another great meteor shower, the Eta Aquarids, uh, marked here by an arrow in blue. And by the way, whenever we talk about this, people want to know, is there a chance that we'll run into Halley's Comet itself? The answer is no, uh, not for the long-term foreseeable future. And there are two reasons for that. First, the meteor stream in space, this collection of particles from the comet is big. It's hundreds of thousands of miles across, at least. But the comet itself is tiny. It's thought to be an oblong, maybe less than about 10 miles across at its widest point. And plus, just because there's an intersection point between Earth and the comet's orbit, that doesn't mean the comet will be at that point when we are. The chances of the comet and Earth being at the same place at the same time are tremendously small. And statistical studies going out thousands of years show no chance of a collision between Comet Halley and Earth anytime soon.